Now I invite Brother Tengzua to deliver the Independence Day speech. My dear fellow citizens of India, today we all are here to acknowledge our privilege of being born in a free India and celebrate the 75th Independence Day of our country. We need to ask those born before 1947 to know the pangs of anguish of being enslaved under a colonial rule. For every Indian in those days, it was indeed a Herculean task to fight against those powerful giants, the British. Those difficult times and struggles must not be allowed to fade away from our memories. Hence, every Independence Day, we not only celebrate our freedom, but we also pay tribute to the ones who fought for it, to the ones who had a vision for a country, and to the ones who sacrificed themselves for the same. The idea of being an independent nation were sovereign paralyzed with us to determine our future, places a huge responsibility on our soldiers. The significance of each beautiful story is that this nation has gained respect from the world for the democratic route chosen by it. We are proudly that our India has never invaded for it 10,000 years of history. The ethos of our freedom struggle forms the foundations of modern India. Those struggles and our We are fortunate that Mahatma Gandhi became the guiding light of our freedom movement. As much a saint as a political leader, he was a phenomenon that could have happened only for India. His quest for equality and justice became for a republic. The ethos of our freedom struggles Mark Taiwan once said, India is the cradle of human speech. The birthplace of human race. The mother of the history, the grandmother of traditions. Let us come together and acknowledge our freedom and work for the development of a nation. Happy Independence Day in Jehi. Thank you, Brother Tengsua, for taking us back to the memory lane of our country's independence. Now, we have a prayer song which will be led by Brother Simala and Brother Angelus. heaven our freedom my father let my country away
Freedom in the minds, faith in the words, and pride in the souls, we have saluted our nation, our national flag. On 15th August 1947, the first Prime Minister Jawala Nehru, he said, at the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, our country is achieving its freedom, new lease of life. Behind all that happened, which is not a memory, but struggles and struggles. After 200 years of bondage in the hands of the British, our country, India, received freedom on 15th August 1947. And then onwards, we have continued to march forward, uh, experiencing the struggles of living in our own home, living uh, in our own cities and villages. And the country surges on, and the people of our country uh, experience different uh, moves and uh, different uh, uh, aspects of a child that is growing and trying to grow and to be an adult. And uh, today when we celebrate the Independence 75th Independence Day, there are other countries as well who, which were born today. Uh, Pakistan celebrated yesterday and like today, there are other five, four or five countries who celebrate their Independence Day. And all these speaks, uh, speak to us about what it means to enjoy true freedom. And today, rightfully, we celebrate the twin festivity of uh, our country as well as our heavenly home. The true freedom is ultimately for us Christians there where our God is. And so as we struggle here on earth with all the toils and uh, the struggles of everyday life within oneself and out, we have to realize that where is our true freedom? Where can we achieve true freedom? What is the significance of our celebration today? There are many things. It is significant that we have a country 
uh, with, uh, with its own special uh, of, uh, color, the flag, national flag, uh, with its uh, all the democratic form of government, and with its uh, rules and regulation, the constitution, and so on, which make it uh, a nation which is proud of the, uh, its own standing. Today, when we salute our nation and we play our pledge uh, before our tricolor, we are proud to say that we are Indians. And yet the struggles continue. The struggles to build this country and to take this country out of the bondage, bondage of slavery and injustice that continue to prevail. Today, more than ever, maybe we are enslaved under our own feet. We are not able to be uh, enjoy the true freedom that we should have and for which oh, we need to be enlightened, for which we all need to contribute our might and main so that the, our country is truly free from all the clutches of evil and from all those who ensnare us uh, from various uh, evils. And that is our struggle today, to make this country a great nation, to make our own region and our area of uh, work uh, a place where true freedom and justice prevails. And that is what we all contribute. Today, once again, we pledge uh, before our, our nation, our tricolor, the national flag, that we may be true subjects of this great country and that our work may not go in vain. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Thank you, Father, for your inspiring message. Now we have song, Rise India. Troop, attention! Rise India, the millions stand for the Christ thy King. Yeah. 